Hey guys, Gabriel here, and uh, in an effort to get some more content up on YouTube, I'm going back to doing some old school plays. Uh, this is just going to be, for now, I'm going to play some quick duel commander. And uh, this hand is amazing. I'm playing my Ithrios Protection. Ugh, God, this is so gross. I hate playing that deck, but this is such an explosive start. I think we should be fine. I mean, we're looking at a... We could do a turn one Demonic Tutor, but I think we'll save it. But we have a turn two Heliod if we don't draw um, another Plains. We'll just play this Isolated Chapel tapped. We don't need to throw out Mana Crypt. Ooh, he had to Mulligan. That's good news for me. I don't even feel bad playing against fucking Grand Arbiter. Uh, this is a, one of my decks that has kind of an underlying theme. It's Most stuff in this has protection from or is just a value creature with Ithrios. So uh, yeah, Grand Arbiter, Augustine IV. White spells cost one less to cast. Blue spells cost one less to cast. And spells your opponent's play cost one more to cast. This is a fairly low CMC average deck, so I'm not too worried about it at this point. Hmm, let's make sure you guys can hear it. Let's turn up the volume just a little. That seems a little better. Ooh, he kept a one lander. Gross. I wish I could say I felt bad, but I don't. We're going to go ahead and throw out the Mystic Crusader. It doesn't have protection from anything on Grand, Grand Arbiter, but that's okay. I don't feel like this game's going to last. Oh, we got a Plains. He wants that blue, though. It's always yield, and we're always, always, always going to go with heads. Okay. Heads was the right choice. So let's go ahead and throw out Heliod. Oops, that was a mistake. <laughs> We're going to throw out Heliod so that we can have Vigilance. That was so important, Vigilance. I think next we throw out Blood Artist and Ethrios. I don't really think we play anything after that. We can just make tokens off of Heliod. Yeah, I don't see this lasting too long. We're so close to having an active Heliod. Yeah, we'll just start making tokens with uh, Heliod. We won't play any more out of our hand unless we get something we just can't pass up. Because we don't want to extend right into a board wipe, which Grand Arbiter tends to play a decent amount of. Alright, so we're going to have Grand Arbiter coming down next turn, but that's fine. Ooh, it could have been this turn. I'm not exactly sure. I wonder why he played the Mana Crypt. That's weird. Oh god, that's exactly what I was talking about for too good not to play. Let's go ahead and swing in. Alright, we're going to throw down the Saros. That's just too good not to throw down. We don't really lose too much. If, uh, oh damn it, I should have, okay, you guys can call me dumb if you want, I should have done that first so I could attack with Heliod. Oh well, that was a pretty dumb play on my part. I could have attacked with Heliod and Ithrios. That was really dumb on my part. My bad. Drift the battlefield, leave the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into the bottom of your library. That seems subpar at best.
we're getting to the point where it's going to be pretty painful for him to board wipe. Because of the Blood Artist triggers and then the Ethereos triggers. Shuffle a card from your hand. Okay. See beyond. One of the new ones, right? Draw two cards and shuffle a card. No, that's not one of the new ones. What is that new one? I can't even think of it now. Thanks, guys. Make a token. Oh, we lost, but we still have that magic threshold for Sarah Ascendant. Alright, well, let's go like that. I feel like he's probably ridiculously close to, uh, he's probably got Cyclonic Rift in hand. I would not be at all surprised. I mean, he's got six mana now. Rifting wouldn't hurt too bad. I can play out pretty quickly. <clears throat> I feel like seeing as I have a, uh, um... Uh, Kabal Coffers, I should Demonic Tutor for Urborg. Alright, no wit rift this turn. Which pretty much I think means I win. See here, we got 10, 11, 12, 18, 20, plus another Cleric token. He has to drop Grand Arbiter if he wants to survive. Excuse me. Yeah, I still don't feel too bad. Granite Arbiter tends to be just one of those incredibly nasty decks. Geist Honored Monk, not bad at all. Get yourself some blockers. Try to survive one more turn. I feel like he's got something worth keep playing because uh, that just seems like a weird... Oh, I didn't make my token. Damn it. I am just fucking up. I'll just blame it on Rust. Let's see here. They have flying, so no reason to play Sublime Archangel either. Let's go ahead and Demonic Tutor. We're going to go grab Urborg. That'll allow us to rebuild our board state really, really fucking fast if he does Cyclonic Rift. Um, Urborg. Play Urborg. So he's taking two, we're getting six more. Oh, he's taking three actually, okay. He's, so he's taking five in all. And we're gaining nine in all. Whew. Okay, don't let me forget to make a token, guys. If you believe, I'll hear it. It's like some Santa rules in this shit. He's got Rift Mana up. Again, I can repopulate my board really fast. Yeah, okay. That wasn't much of a game. We'll do another one piggybacked onto this one. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for the second half. Alright guys, welcome back. I won the dice roll. 
Ooh, playing against Krinko might just be too damn fast for me. We're going to keep this, though. Lots of mana for Artesa. If I can survive uh, until I'm out of... Ooh, damn. Until I'm out of Alpha area, uh, territory, Tesa is pretty strong. Okay, too much land now. Let's go ahead and go grab a Godless Shrine to go along with our scrub land. Effort. So yeah, I haven't been streaming or making very many videos lately. I'd really like to get back into doing that. I've had a lot of support from you guys, people wondering where I've been. And uh, this should hopefully be getting me at least back into the YouTube side of things, which is a lot easier for me to schedule. Alright, so can't do anything next turn anyways, except for play uh, Aetherios. There's no reason to play Ancient Tomb yet. See, so we'll play Aetherios, and then Baneslayer, and then uh, I think we'll be out a couple turns, and then Tesa. This is already getting scary. Red creatures you control off first strike. That's strong. You don't see that very often. Alright. Uh, not legit. Of course I had triple white. What the hell. I'm kind of happy with Baneslayer. Any kind of life gain is going to be just awesome in this match. I think we just sit on Dune Rider and hold, save him for uh, victimized mana or fodder. Man, I'm not looking forward to Swift Foot Boots on the Krinko. This is actually a rather slow start for Krinko, though. So let's get Baneslayer out. Usually, uh, Mono Red Goblins does not like seeing that lifelink. Now the question is, do I just let it sit back uh, for blocks? I think that's the best bet. Alright, Mr. Cranks is out. Why don't I have a removal in my hand? Oh, that answers my question for should I, should I just sit back with blocks. No. It's like that uh, old commercial. Why not both? Um, let's play Soldier of the Pantheon. And Hilliard. Yeah, big blocker. If we draw a land next turn, we drop Tesa. If we don't, we just sit. We can start making uh, tokens with Heliod, like uh, the plan was last game. Alright, now he's going to start pooping out tokens. This makes me wish I had, like, Decree of Pain right now would be pretty good. Do it in response to him activating Krenko. No, you do it after he activates Krenko so that you get rid of the ones he makes. Krenko's command, so he's he can make uh, five goblins right now if he doesn't do anything else. Another land would be awesome, because then I would get Tesa, and I would also get Aetherios active. Alright, at least he doesn't have Perforos yet. S shit gets exponential. Mm. Mm, that's not what I wanted. It does activate Ithrios though. Now the question is, do I just make an emblem? I 
think the answer is yes, I just make an emblem. Yeah. Go with those guys. Getting a little more life. Maybe he'll get the blinders and not want to uh, attack me. Maybe he's going to send at least five at Soren to get rid of Soren. People go kind of funny when they see a planeswalker. Because right now Soren should not be his target. He's playing mono red. I should always be his target. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a good one. And he's got haste. I sure do wish Soldier of the Pantheon was able to uh, have protection from something besides multicolor, which doesn't really matter this game. Ooh, shit. Really wish I had that Tesa up. That's pretty good. I feel like I would have done that the other way around. I don't. It, it doesn't matter if he only gets one more. Yeah, you did it wrong. I'm going to count that as the games for today, though. Just because you made a play mistake doesn't mean you should have scooped. Ooh, we would have had protection from all creatures coming up. All right, well... Thanks for joining. I'm also going to probably do a deck tech to round up today's videos. So stick tuned, stay tuned, and uh, check that out too. Thanks for watching Ethrios Protection. Have a good day.